Hey everyone, I'm in Vero Beach, Florida, and I found this amazing new construction home built by Devasta. This is the Reverence, and I wanna show you, it looks absolutely stunning. Let me flip the camera around and give you a first person tour. Right away, it has absolutely great curb appeal. I love the stone on the outside of the home, and that nice ceramic tile looks great for the roof. Love the bay windows as well. But this, guys, is going to be a three-bedroom. You have the options of getting two, ba two bathrooms all the way up to three and a half bathrooms. And this will be 2,669 square feet. And right away, here is the den that's absolutely stunning with a very nice accent wall and those tray ceilings. I really like what these builders have been doing recently with accent walls. I think it's very stylish and modern. And I'm gonna go and get into what everyone wants to see, the meat and potatoes. An amazing kitchen here. Wow. Very nice quartz countertops, crown molding throughout. Looks really nice. One thing that I really like is how they move that microwave off the range. I think that looks a lot classier compared to having the microwave directly over the range. Let's get a nice panoramic. This is a huge open concept home. Lots of room for entertaining. There's your dining room right over there. Very nice. And then here's gonna be the living room and it flows really nicely. All these rooms flow really nicely into one another. Look at that nice accent wall on the TV there. Ample amounts of recessed lighting as well. So it looks very, very nice. And I do think I spot something that I didn't see before, which is I think those are speakers. I think those are speakers. So if you wanted to have some music playing, that might be an upgrade or it might come standard. I will have to ask. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful looking home. Let's look at it from this angle all the way in the corner. Nice living room. Plenty of space. Very nice dining room. Now let's take a look at the master here. But this is shot on a 0.6 camera angle lens, so everything looks a little smaller. So this is an absolutely huge area that I'm in right now. Very, very nice, sizable island. Very nice lighting and decor. You've got very nice backsplash there in the kitchen. Look at that, that's a great shot. Really good looking kitchen. And another thing, I'm fairly certain these have, uh, is that soft clothes? Yes, they are soft clothes. They are soft clothes. But I absolutely love that backsplash. Got your nice little wet bar there, wine cooler, little wine rack up there. You can use that for coffee, for wine, any other sorts of beverages. And then over here you have a very nice sizable pantry, walk in. So it might be kind of hard to see just how big this is, but it's a very big walk-in pantry. Very nice. Now let's get to the master bedroom. Over here, so there's two entrances to the master bedrooms. This one's the first one off the kitchen. You have your, I believe this is the HVAC. Nope, this is a linen closet. You have your linen closet here. You have your two car garage out here. Nice size garage. And then that kind of leads into what, what I know it as up in Minnesota, this was considered a mud room. There's probably another word for it down here in Florida. I haven't heard of it yet. A little mud room, place to hang your coats, put your shoes so you don't track all that stuff in the, in the home. Right into that goes the laundry room. You have ample amounts of space here. You have cupboards over the laundry room. You also have a very nice sink. So you can do your laundry, a nice shelf there. And a nice little touch I wanna show you that's right behind me is this little area. They put a little dog bowl, dog bed there. Great place to have them. And I believe this should be the AC. Yes, that is the AC. Now, enough of all that stuff. I call that, I call that room everyone's favorite room, the laundry room. <laughs> but let's get into the master. Very nice tray ceilings. Again, we have that accent wall 
on the back there. Just flows really nice into one another. Makes shooting these new construction homes so much better than shooting some resale homes that just have not the latest fashion, let's just say. <laughs> I love these new modern homes and wait till you get a look at this bathroom right away. There's the shower, just as a precursor to how nice this bathroom is gonna be. Very nice stand-in shower with a bench. I believe that's ceramic tile there. Look at that, very nice, sizable, double vanity with nice lighting. Let's get a look at the master bathroom from this angle. Got plenty of room. You could fit like 20 people in there. Not that you would want to shower with 20 people, <laughs> but as a, as a unit of measurement, that's about how many people could fit in there. Awesome. Here is the little toiletry room. And another thing that I didn't say anything about yet is this flooring. I really like this flooring. It's nice and tan. It's a great color and a great color scheme for this home. And then here you have just a huge walk-in closet. I mean, look at this walk-in closet. This is big. This is almost as big as the guest bedroom, for real. It's a really big walk-in closet. Wraps all the way around and even behind this door. Yeah, I mean, let's shut the door here. You have so much room. Definitely ample for two people. Unless one of the two has a shopping problem, then they might need to, uh, then they might need to use some of this linen closet space. There you go. But very, very nice bathroom. Nice quartz countertops. I just love what they did. They have the nice gold, gold on kind of silver brass, brass on the nut with the nice tan. It just looks really good. And then you got that little hit of green there. Might not come out really good on the camera because it's super bright in here. But overall, the decor looks awesome. This master bedroom is nice and sizable. Nice sliding door. Now let's get into some of the other parts of the home. All right, again. Oh, here we're gonna have our first guest bathroom. And I believe this model home has, this has three bathrooms. So actually I think it has three, two and a half maybe. I'll show you in a second. But this is the first one. Again, you're gonna have the quartz countertops, toilet right there. Then you have a very nice tiled stand-in shower right here. And actually I haven't even opened this up, I'm guessing. This goes out to the lanai. Wow, that's very nice. So you have a little bathroom that's right outside the lanai here. And by the way, here's the huge lanai that you have. Kind of linear, but it's a very sizable, covered, screened-in lanai. Oh, my camera's kind of freaking out. There we go. It's, it wouldn't be a Florida home unless you had this room here. Yeah, very nice. Let me give you another angle. This is the one I think most people can appreciate. This one right here. Let's say you're watching the game, you're watching some fishing shows like my family does, while eating fresh fish tacos, something like that. Just living the Florida lifestyle. And look at that, you have nice palm trees behind you, waving in the breeze on a beautiful day here in Vero Beach. But let's get back into the home here. So that was the guest bathroom and the outside lanai. One last look here at the nice standing shower in the guest. And then again, we have the guest bathroom. Making our way out. Let's get one more panel of this, and then I'll show you the rest of the home, which is the Jack and Jill bedrooms. Let's get to it. All right, another nice thing about this community is one, I really like that door, I just noticed. Very nice door. And then two, you're gonna get impact glass and windows so you don't have to worry about any hurricane shutters or anything like that. So that's another nice bonus. Here's the first guest bedroom. As you can see, looks very nice. I like how they kind of rounded the corners. It gives it a nice little dimension. And then this is going to flow into a little powder room here that does have a sliding door here to separate. It also has its own little linen closet here, or actually walk-in closet, okay? Wow, this is a nice walk-in closet. 
bigger than I was expecting. So again, you have your nice little half bathroom here, and then it flows into a shared full bathroom with a toilet, standing shower, there we go. Toilet, standing shower, there we go. And then on the other side, they have the exact same thing. So you have, again, your nice little vanity there. You have a walk-in closet. Then behind us, you have the standing shower and the shared toilet. I'm guessing that's a linen closet. So overall, very nice. Especially if you have guests, they can be getting ready at the same time. And all that good stuff. Let's go into the next one. Really like this bedroom. Look at it, it has bay windows. If you've watched my channel before, you know I like bay windows and you know I like accent walls just like that. So overall, very good looking home. Let's go back out to the foyer here. We have a nice little, what is this, linen closet. Yep, nice little linen closet, fairly, fairly big. Have a vacuum in there, brooms. And again, just that beautiful, the beautiful den out here. Again, I believe you can get this into a full third bedroom because really this is one, two, three bedrooms plus a den. I'm not sure if you can upgrade this one into a full third bedroom. However, it does have a window. And on top of that, it does have its own walk-in closet. So I'm um, not sure why they are advertising as a three, two. This could be advertised as a four, two. But I think a lot of people are looking for a den, a flex space, something like this. And that is what they're looking for. So maybe that's why. So everyone, that was the reverence by DeVosta Homes. I think it's an absolutely stunning home. What do you guys think about this floor plan? Is this something that interests you? Let me know in the comments down below. What would you change? What do you not like? What do you like about this home? If you guys are considering moving here to Florida or want some more additional information about the properties we have here, please reach out. I absolutely love helping out my subscribers. I'll leave my info up on screen here. Anyway, guys, hopefully this video helped you. And if it did, consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.